A new law has gone into effect today across the border in Connecticut. It's a 1% tax increase on prepared foods. A Western Mass News reporter Caroline Powers compared prices between the Bay State and the Nutmeg State. If you work, live, or travel through Connecticut and you're looking to grab an already prepared meal on the go, be ready for it to cost you a little more at the checkout counter. I'm here for my lunch. Uh, they have a great lunch special. Paul Tober of West Hartford, Connecticut stopped by the Big Y in Enfield like he does most days for lunch. But on Tuesday, he found himself paying a little bit more for his two slices of pizza and pop. It's only four cents, but four cents day after day and all the other increases instead of trying to cut expenses and help the actual taxpayers they're not working for us they're against us in june a one percent increase on prepared food was passed in the connecticut state budget bringing the total percent on items like ready to eat salads sandwiches pizza and coffee to 7.35 percent. We did put some signs up at all our satellite registers letting the customers know that we had the 1 percent increase. Western Mass News stopped by Big Y grocery stores in Enfield, Connecticut and Longmeadow, Massachusetts to compare the final price of prepared food items. This ham and cheese sandwich cost the same at both stores, but after tax was four cents more in Connecticut. A similar story with this $3.99 turkey sub. It still would add to your food bill. I won't say I see a, a big change in shopping patterns, but there, there will be a few customers with the concerns that are maybe on a um, limited budget. Stuff that the customers are looking for, something easy for their kids when they come home from school or they want to prep a meal. Those are some of the items that will be taxed a little bit more. I've worked in, in Connecticut before, and I know they're very aware of their tax as well as we are in Massachusetts, but I could see them coming um, across the, the line and coming over and visiting us in Massachusetts. For Western Mass News, I'm Caroline Powers.